What's going on guys? This is Jeff Lee Hicks and I'm going to be discussing to you guys about how to create the most simplest 808 base if you're using 10 or 11. You can do it in both and it's both the same process. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to come to my utilities page and drag in a combinator like this. Now I'm going to hit F6 to get my rack open. And the first thing we're going to do after this is we're going to drag in what is called a subtractor analog synthesizer, like so. Drag it in right inside the combinator. Now as far as the default setting, is usually on bass guitar. Well, since we're in the correct folder for the synthesizer already in bass, we're going to move all the way down to the preset called Dirty South Sub, which is right here. And I'm going to drag that over the combinator or the synthesizer. Next, where it says range right here, I'm only going to do one more thing. So the default range of this uh, preset is 7. I'm going to move it up to 12. Because when we start doing like a bass pitch dial, we're going to want a full scale range of doing that. So after that, we're going to go to our effects page. And so the two main effects that you're going to be using and really do need are called the Screen for Distortion Unit and the Audio Magnet Retro Transformer. So first, we're going to put in the Screen 4 right underneath the subtractor. So this first knob where it says damage control. We really don't have to mess with it. However, the second knob, you kind of do have to mess with it. So what you, what you would do is you move the second knob all the way down to where it says tape speed and compression like so. So basically the, the fifth tick down from the top, that's it. Now as far as this section right here where it says cut low, mid and high, so for your low level, you're going to move it to the tick right before the top. Then on your mid level, you can basically move it to the middle. And on your high, you're going to move it right below the middle, like that. And this section where it says body, all this other stuff, you really technically have to, you don't have to mess with it. And the other main effect that we have to have is called an automatic retro transformer. We're going to drag it in like that. Now, for the default setting, it usually is on tape. We're going to put it on bottom because we want to cut out like all the mud muddiness and murkiness. When we start playing it, it won't, so you'll have a clearer sound. Now, technically speaking, if you wanted to stop right there and start playing, you technically could, but I'm going to add two more effects because when we start playing this 808, it's going to be really, really overpowering. So you're going to need these two extra things to make it really work. So what you can do, you can put in a maximizer from your effects page like that. And make sure you turn on your 4MS look ahead and your soft clip and your stereo imager if you feel that way. Like I, said, like I said before, these four, the equalizer, compressor, maximizer, stereo, stereo imager, you can kind of mess around with either one of these four to get what you think is the correct sound for your 808. But for me, I usually use the maximizer and stereo imagers just to make sure. And let's go to the far as mixing aspect. So you say F5. And basically, in my previous video, I want to show you guys how to make trap beats. As far as drums go, it's pretty much the same mixing aspect. So go to where it says dynamics, turn it on. And you got the two green knobs, your ratio and your release. Turn these two, three ticks to the left. And your threshold right here, three ticks to the right. That's it. Now, if the 808 bass is still kind of overpowering, still booming, what you can do, you can come to where it says the maxes section right here, where it says show insert effects. 
And this is where you would put in all the other, or where you could use these bad boys right here. Your equalizer, your stereo imagers, compressors, the maximizers. This is what I, I would use right here if it's still too overpowering, it's still just booming to death. And now, since you're pretty much done with that, now let's start actually making our simple 808 bass. So, for example, um, the sample that I chose is in the key of A sharp minor. So basically B flat minor for all you musical theorists out there. So I'm going to play the sample basically all the way up to like, I'll say 9. Or just make it 5, make it easier. And this is what the sample I chose sounds like. So here we go. Okay, so the first note that I probably should be hitting when I start drawing in my notes is probably that B flat. So what I'm gonna do, go through our pencil tool up here and just draw in all the way up to five, like that. Now we're gonna come in like that. Now, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna draw a B flat key just a regular B flat key and I'm probably gonna go up to from 1.1 to 1.4 just to make sure I get get it all the way nice and correct in the way I want it so let me see how they sound yeah that sounds good and I'm gonna do one more at three or 3.1 make it easier Okay, so let me see how this sounds first. All right, cool. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna turn this down slightly. So I'm gonna F5 right quick. I'm just gonna turn it down just a little bit. Because like I said before, this 808 will be booming. So let's turn it on just a little bit. A lot better. All right. So now from there, we're going to add the infamous, quote, base dives, end quote. So in reason, it's really simple to do base dives. So what are you going to do? This little area right here where it says, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'm, I just read it to you. It says track parameter automation. Click that little arrow, and you'll come up to a section where it says performance, knobs, buttons, and effects. So you're going to move over to the performance and hit pitch pin. All right. Hit that. Now we're going to come in here to the actual note. So now what we're going to do is going to drag this up. Right, like so, so you actually you see the pitchman wheel. So, next, what we're going to do make sure you keep everything on snap. So, what we're going to do in the area where it says zero, we're going to pick out, take out pencil tool, hit the first dot, and from there, it's really up to your discretion where you want to put the second dot. But I like to put the second dot almost like right here. Like that. Then on the third dot, make sure it's at zero or on the end of the note. Like that. All right. So let's see how this sounds. All right, cool. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy that, that same. Base dot right here. So let's see how this sounds. Okay, so now we got 
got that. Copy. Paste. <laughs> Now, let's go back. is how you do base dives in reason 10 or 11 they're both the same so what I'm gonna do I'll probably work on this a little bit more after the video but I'll let you guys see the finished product probably in another video but I'm just gonna for demo purposes just do the same like I said before I'm gonna add like different notes to this but I just want to do some basic just to show you guys how easy this was Let's go back and let's see how the whole thing sounds. That's pretty much it. Very simple, easy way to make 808s and reason 10 or 11. Like I said, and it only took me about roughly 10 minutes to get that set up. So, hope you guys enjoyed what you saw today. Like and subscribe, and I will talk to you soon. Peace.